Second time in history, a man-made object has left our solar system. Forty-six years after launch, Voyager 2 still whispers across 20 billion kilometers of space. But last year, its faint signal carried something no one expected. Structured pulses, impossible images, and a final line that chills scientists to this day. Do not follow. Voyager 2 isn't just a machine drifting in the dark. It's humanity's furthest ambassador. Launched on August 20th, 1977, carrying with it the Golden Record, a time capsule etched in copper and coated in gold. Inside are 115 images, greetings in 55 human languages, and music that spans Bach, Beethoven, and even Chuck Berry. It was meant as a message to whoever might find it. This is who we are. For decades, Voyager 2 delivered wonders. Jupiter's volcanic moon, Io spewing lava, Saturn's rings tangled with shepherd moons, Uranus tilted on its side, Neptune's supersonic winds roaring faster than sound itself. But in 2018, it crossed the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the sun's protective bubble ends and interstellar space begins. Now more than 20 billion kilometers away, its transmissions are just 23 watts of power, weaker than a refrigerator bulb. And yet they still reach us after a staggering 18.5 hour journey through space. Those whispers should only carry radiation counts and cosmic ray data. But in August 2025, the signal changed. It carried patterns, pulses, and a message no one was prepared to see. Before we dive into this mystery, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Stone and Bone, because what you're about to hear could change how you see the universe. When Voyager 2 left Earth, Jimmy Carter was president, and the Berlin Wall still stood. Its mission was daring, but straightforward. Take advantage of a rare planetary alignment to slingshot past the outer giants. And it did. Jupiter in 1979, Saturn in 1981, Uranus in 1986, and Neptune in 1989. No spacecraft has repeated that feat. Voyager 2 remains the only probe ever to visit Uranus and Neptune. At Neptune, it caught images of geysers erupting from Triton, an icy moon that scientists now suspect hides a subsurface ocean. That was supposed to be the end. The grand tour completed, the camera shut down, the probe left to drift into eternity. But instead, its mission evolved. Voyager 2 became our first scout to leave the solar system's cradle. It is now 133 astronomical units from Earth. That's more than 20 billion kilometers. Every year, it races 300 million miles farther into the dark at a blistering 15 kilometers per second. And yet, despite the vast gulf of space, we can still hear it. A whisper caught by the Deep Space Network, a system of enormous radio dishes in California, Spain, and Australia. They can detect Voyager's transmission even though it's weaker than a fridge light bulb. Voyager 2 has gone quiet before. In 2020, when Australia's great radio dish was shut down for upgrades, Earth couldn't talk to the spacecraft for almost a year. And in July 2023, a single faulty command tilted its antenna by just two degrees, enough to sever contact. For weeks, NASA listened to static until engineers shouted a corrective signal across 20 billion kilometers. Against all odds, Voyager heard the call and turned back toward us. But the silence in August 2025 was different. Engineers monitoring the deep space network noticed faint pulses in the static. At first, they dismissed it as cosmic noise, interference from background radiation. Yet one junior astrophysicist insisted on running the data through a spectral rebalancer, a tool designed to pull order from chaos. What emerged wasn't random. It was patterned, binary clusters repeating at precise intervals, exactly the kind of rhythm expected from a deliberate communication. Voyager 2 isn't floating in emptiness. It's in uncharted territory, the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades 
and the interstellar medium begins. Crossing it in 2018 was a triumph of science. Inside the heliosphere, the solar wind shields us from high-energy cosmic rays. Beyond it, that shield collapses. Data from Voyager showed a sudden spike in galactic cosmic rays and a sharp drop in solar particles, the unmistakable signature of interstellar space. Even more haunting, its plasma instrument recorded a low-frequency vibration, a cosmic hum echoing through the void. Astrophysicists call it turbulence, plasma waves, magnetic reconnection. But the timing, just as Voyager's signal grew strange, sparked darker theories. What if this wasn't just a boundary of physics, but a frontier patrolled by something else? What do you think? Was Voyager only recording natural space turbulence? Or could it have brushed against something more? Maybe even guarded? Share your thoughts in the comments. From the moment it launched, Voyager carried not just instruments, but a message. The Golden Record. A gold-plated copper disc with instructions on how to play it, showing 115 photographs of life on Earth, greetings in 55 languages, and sounds of wind, surf, laughter, and music from Beethoven to Chuck Berry. It even carries a pulsar map pointing directly to our location in the galaxy. Carl Sagan, who led the project, described it as a launching of the human imagination into the cosmos. A hopeful gesture, a handshake across the stars. But in 2025, that hope turned ominous. Hidden deep in Voyager 2's faint transmission was a rhythmic sequence of tones. Five pulses, precise and deliberate. When decoded, the pattern resembled the style of the Arecibo message, a binary signal humanity had broadcast in 1974 toward a star cluster 25,000 light years away. This time, however, the message wasn't going out. It was coming in, and its meaning was chilling. Boundary crossed. Contact achieved return not permitted. Voyager 2's cameras were shut down back in 1990 after it finished its planetary tour. By design, it should never send another picture. And yet, embedded in the strange August 2025 transmission were compressed data packets that looked like corrupted image files. When decoded and enhanced with AI reconstruction, three frames emerged. The first revealed something angular and immense just beyond the heliopause a geometric structure, too precise to be a natural formation. The second image was even more disturbing. Voyager 2 itself, captured from the outside as though something nearby had taken its portrait, but no spacecraft or telescope exists anywhere close enough to take that shot. The third image was the most chilling. It showed an arc of glowing light, bending the stars around it as though space itself had rippled. Some called it gravitational lensing. Others whispered another word, portal. The images were shocking, but the sound was worse. Hidden deep in the binary stream was a repeating sequence of five tones, precisely spaced, mathematically clean. They weren't noise. They mirrored the style of the 1974 Arecibo message, humanity's radio signal designed to announce our presence to the stars. But this time, the direction was reversed. The tones weren't human. They were incoming. Machine learning models trained in symbolic linguistics uncovered fragments that repeated over and over. Boundary crossed. Contact achieved. Return not permitted. This was no glitch. It was deliberate. Voyager 2 hadn't just stumbled into the unknown. Something at the edge of our solar system had noticed and was speaking back. If you heard these five tones yourself, would you take them as a greeting or as a warning? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear how you'd interpret them. Voyager's anomaly isn't the first time space has pushed us towards the edge of belief. The Pioneer anomaly puzzled physicists for years when both Pioneer spacecraft slowed slightly more than expected. The cause, subtle heat recoil, was only solved decades later. In 2017, the interstellar object Umuamua entered our solar system, accelerated oddly, and slipped away without a clear explanation. Some scientists suggested it was natural, others wondered if it was engineered. And then there are the fast radio bursts, millisecond long flashes of radio energy from distant galaxies, powerful enough to outshine entire galaxies for a heartbeat, but with no confirmed source. 
Voyager 2's 2025 transmission fits this lineage of anomalies, but with one key difference. This time, the unknown didn't just pass by, it spoke directly to us. Inside NASA, panic spread quickly. Anomalies could be dismissed. But a message that read, return not permitted, could not. Closed door meetings were convened, not just with scientists, but with military advisors and intelligence officials. If Voyager had made contact, who would speak for Earth? Leaked reports claimed a single distorted image. An enormous lattice-like structure stretching across space was quietly circulated among top-level committees. Some argued it was simply corrupted data. Others whispered it was evidence of a barrier, an engineered frontier at the edge of our solar system. Should the world know, or would a disclosure ignite fear and chaos? If real, this wasn't just a scientific discovery. It was a matter of global security. For decades, SETI had dreamed of this moment, proof that we are not alone. But when the signal finally came, the reaction wasn't celebration, it was fear. Just before Voyager's coordinates shifted in August 2025, the last transmission carried a haunting line. Transmission complete, awaiting response. Do not follow. Seconds later, Voyager's position changed. Its signal was still alive, but the probe was no longer where it should have been. Not destroyed, not silent, relocated. Was it moved as a warning, as a test, or as a capture? Scientists debated endlessly, but one truth echoed through every lab. Voyager had crossed a threshold, and whatever lies beyond it does not want us there. Voyager 2 began as a triumph of human imagination, a car-sized probe carrying Earth's message into the stars. But in August 2025, it may have become something else entirely, the first witness to a boundary not drawn by physics, but by intelligence. Its final whisper, do not follow, could be the most important words humanity has ever received. A warning that our curiosity, our drive to explore, may one day lead us somewhere we are not welcome. And yet, that curiosity remains unstoppable. Voyager's story reminds us, we listen to the universe, and sometimes the universe listens back. If this journey through the unknown unsettled you as much as it inspired you, Make sure to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to Stone and Bone, where history, science, and the secrets of the cosmos come alive.